everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. <laughs> Today's the Bible title is God Makes a Way The Parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments. So today we will read about God makes a way for us. A story for After Paro's son died in the tent plague, he let the Israel leave. They were near the Red Sea. When Paro changed his mind again and chased after them, So Paro, after Paro's sons died, Paro let Israel go, but Paro again changed his mind and let Israel, like they chased after Israel and before them there were a Red Sea. In the Red Sea, in front of them, there were there were a Red Sea, and like the Egyptian people chased chased after the Israel. Cool, damn it! We have found that Bible gem, kindness. When the Israel saw Paro, chased at them, they were terrified. But God told Moses to raise his staff toward the Red Sea. God sent the strong wind and parted the sea. When Israel saw Paro, were chasing them, that they were terrified and like they were. Really Saying to Moses, why are you making me die? Like, why did you take out from Egypt and making us die? Like, they complained to Moses. But still, Moses trusted God and has prayed to God. God said to raise his staff to what the Red Sea and God sent a strong wind. Wow. I also want to go there. It is amazing. It is a water wall. A dry part appeared and the Israel work walked straight through the Red Sea. There were there was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. So a dry part appeared and they could walk in a dry land. So, like, on the side, both sides, it was a water wall. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing thing? I really also want to. I also really want to go there. And also, it will be a little bit afraid. It can be afraid also because, like, 
they come drunk. Paro and his army followed them into the Red Sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. Then the Red Sea rolled back again. Paro and his army all drooled. So Paro's army also chased them. But God told Moses to stretch out his hand to the Red Sea. And the Red Sea rolled back again. And all Paro's army and Paro drooled. It's a sad bit. Paro should. Actually, Paro should listen to God. There's a. Question. Paro and his army chased the Israel, then captured them again in the Red Sea. No? False. Paro and his army was chasing Israel, but God helped them. So Paro and when Moses raised his stuff again, like it rolled back against the Paro and Paro's army drew. Oh. Actually, it's a sad story. God led his people through a wildness. He fed them and gave them water. They camped at Mount Sinia, where God told Moses to meet him on the mountain top. So they have camped on Mount Sinai, Sinai? but every time actually the people complain. Actually, that is not a good thing because God has gave water and also God feed them, but they were keep complaining to Moses. So God told Moses to meet them on the mountain top. Question: You have found the Bible jam. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top, and God came down to meet them. So it is surrounded by fire and smoke because it is a mountain top. I can smell noodles. My brother is eating it. So Moses went to mountain top to meet. God and God came down to meet them. Question Where did God help Moses to meet them? Number one, the mountain top. Number two, the tent. Number three, the Red Sea. Number one was the correct answer. Yeah. And then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone table. Don't worship other gods. Don't make idol. Treat my name with respect. Treat the sad bad day as a special day. So like, suddenly God gave the Moses the Ten Commandments. Like, on the stone, like Moses will be very <laughs> it will be very no. respect your parents, don't mother be you low 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 to your husband 
or why don't sell don't lie don't even need people or the what they own now the people knew how to obey god do you know that actually before this there are many some many bad things happened the israel people moses has came down very didn't came down for a very long time and like the israel people were worshiping the golden cow the false god so like you can see in the real bible a long story in the real bible you can check then you can see a long story with this question the ten commandments tell the israel how to obey god yes you have got a star yesterday aired the bible story did you enjoy it? and next time i'll read another good story then let's see you next time bye